Now let's try and post some entries. We just do a simple transaction first. We'll use FB50 to post some journal entries. Okay, it's going to specify a document date. There, 2016. Okay, just saying test for Copa GL account. I'm just going to specify an account which will something like one of our advertising expenses account. So let's just check for that now. Just going to select this and specify some bank account as an offsetting account. Just doing some testing purposes so we can just specify some bank account or some cash account. I'm just going to use this bank account for now. So debit, credit, expenses of about $1,000. $1,000. Now if you double click this line item, because you're going to post all your COPA entries are going to be concerned with your PL account, which is going to be a revenue and expense accounts. It's not going to be concerned with your balance sheet accounts. So all COP entries should apply to the expense or revenue accounts. So in this case, it's our advertising expense accounts. I'm just going to double click that. Just bypass that message. Press enter in your keyboard. Need to specify cost center. So I'm just going to specify some cost center for now. And this is the important field, profitability segment. So we're going to click on that. To enter the profitability segment detail now you can see by default all the characteristics are coming you can make sure that you can change this layout to show only what are the fields which you want to see now for example i just choose something for industry custom group and brand so let me select industry i'll just choose something like uh, some industry energy industry customer group let me select a customer group by default there may be so many let's say industrial and brand i can choose a brand so i've created my own brand so I just showed you and you can always change this brand names later but this id is important so once you start entering information through this brand ids you should not change these ids however the description you can change this is for testing purposes anyways i'm just going to choose one brand and press continue so we got everything in order just go back there's no further line items available so that's fine we can just go back over here you can see it's green status, debits and credits are equal. Now you can just do a simulate if you want. Just bypass that message. See this entry is all okay. Then you can save the transaction. So now you're getting a message saying document 1009 was posted in company code Z123. Now let's go and check this document. Just going to go to document, display, Going to bring up the document you can see this is my advertising expenses this is my ANZ bank information profit center and all these information are over here now i'm just going to double click on this and i should be getting profit segment and here what i've entered is coming up over here the profit center just deriving from the cost center these are the information i entered industry custom group and brand now let's do another step. We'll try to create a customer and in the customer mass data, we'll enter some information and then we'll proceed with creating a customer invoice and we'll see how those information are coming to the profitability analysis or the profitability segment. So to create customer, you can go to FD01, which is at the company code level and general master data general level. Then we're just going to enter the company code. I'm just going to use a reference custom, which I've already created and put the company code over there. So okay to continue. So I can give a customer name. I'm just going to say company. I'm just going to say Pegasus Limited. Just some name over there. Search term. I'm just going to give this general information. Now here the street address information is important to enter because this will get picked up for our profitability analysis later details. So I'm just going to say hundred. King Street, or okay, this is the street num. So I'm just going to say King Street, street number 11, postal code. I'm just going to say 3000 City, Melbourne, and region is Victoria. And of course, when you see the drop down menu, you can see all the regions available for each country. So when you specify the country, then you get the information coming in here. VIC is the correct region code. I'm just going to skip this postal box address. I can skip the telecommunication details. So important, you enter the 
this street address information if you want to see profitability and